guys, it's Firefly Kiri, and we are back with another episode of The Walking Dead. Now, uh, we are just going to pick up exactly where we left off. So, let's, uh, let's, uh, look in this first aid kit. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. photo find anything it's a photo of the family who owned this place might help us track down the keys to the office I know who you are. Uh oh. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? The world is ending out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Well, I figured that trust is going to be something huge in the zombie apocalypse, so... Dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. <laughs> Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you would have. My dad gave it to me. Aww. See, dads are smart like that. Yeah, see? Dads are... Well, some dads are pretty cool. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Uh. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Uh. Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. Oh, poor it's Clementine. Not good. I don't know I just... why everyone is crazy. Everyone's crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Everybody's crazy because they're does, walkers. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are wow. good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. Aww. <sighs> there we go. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. 
Yeah. Yeah. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah. yeah. Right. No, let's get this done. I mean, it's best to be honest with Clementine. But you don't Ow! need to scare. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Alright, Clem. Just get up there and... I'll find you a bandage. We'll find us. Uh, let's see. Oh, the first aid kit. Right there's the first aid kit. Now, let's give this band aid Let's to have her. a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. There. We got you covered, Clementine. We'll take care of you. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Yep. Let's check the drawer, see if they're in there. It's the remote to my dad's TV. See if anything's on. That's what I figured. Nope. Alright. I don't want to examine the bedding. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Uh, Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. Yes. Hey. I'm gonna get back to him now. Oh, my. Okay. So, no talking to her. Uh, we've looked at everything. Let's go back and hey, see Tommy. if Carly. Story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first hand accounts. You do radio. That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding, and I hit the blogosphere. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Alright, let's take a look at this radio. Hey there, uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kinda in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped out at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. So, any of you who know... hold on to this until get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I okay, think Doug's so great any zombies. of you all who you watched here. The Walking Dead, Glenn dead is a major character in the series, the can. TV show, so that's what you do. and that's Somebody's who that's to. who we're hanging yeah. out with right now. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. All right. 
So I think uh, first thing we need to do is go save Glenn, even though, yeah, even though we should get that guy's natural pills, but. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. All right, okay. let's go look. What's it going to hurt? Jesus. Man. No! He just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all I care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. Okay. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Oh, man. Wait. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Yeah. Well fucking done, Doug. Good all job, Doug. This might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? All right, so those things are gonna obviously go to I the got TV. a few of them to take notice. like TV. Or at least the sound of it. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. I can't reach that brick. Okay, so... Um... How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months, and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. A few seconds of searching it, we'll know if he has the keys. We can't... we can't get... The... I've got to knock that lock off of there. I imagine going out the back door and around is out of the question. If we're gonna help Larry, we need to get this lock off of there. I can't reach that brick. What else are we supposed to do? Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, I 
It didn't work. We break that lock off and I can get out onto the street. Okay, so since there's nothing else we can do out here, let's head back inside. Okay. Since there's nothing else we can do, we have we have to go back in. Um, hey there. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Alright, so apparently we had to go get Glenn first. Well, my bad. Before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me. I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn yeah, right we, we can. We can't. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress, guys. All right. So what we have to do now is we gotta make our way we gotta okay. make our way somewhere this is the plan. we don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room yeah it's boarded up <laughs> so we have to kill every one of them in here quietly noise attracts these things now let's have a look around Let's creep over to this truck. I saw one lurking on the other side of that car. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. Alright. Ow! Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Alright, so... Truck unlock? No, of course not. I'm done trying to punch out a window. Dang it. I do. Plan. It attracts the others. How are you going to kill that one by the car without attracting the others? That's a good question. I don't know. Maybe there's something this way. Okay. All right. They really want to 
better get into that room. Okay. Maybe... Maybe one of the 2 by 4s So, let's see. No. No. I really gotta get in this truck, so... These guys quietly. How do I do this? I'm done trying to punch out windows. What do we do? We're kind of stuck. Let's go back to the brick wall, I guess, and see if we can't find something. Oh. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Okay, okay, I get it now. Use the pillow to muffle out the noise of smashing the window in. Okay. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Uh. Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. I'm done trying to punch out windows. Carly! Love this gun, but it sure isn't quiet. That's it. There's a pig in the truck. All right, so give me the pill. What are you gonna do with that? Give me the I gun. Really do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. Was sick. <laughs> there we go. All right. Uh, take that. should hold on to that. Could come in handy. Bye-bye. Squish. That was awesome. <laughs> squishy, squish, squish. Scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. All right. All right. The first thing we need to do is we can take care of that one walker right there. That girl 
else up here. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? <laughs> Sorry, Carly. But uh yeah. That should help. We're gonna we're gonna have a little bit of fun. By swinging this around and chopping Why people's don't you heads guys off. Lag behind just in case this goes to hell. Okay. We'll be right behind you. Good. Gotta go up those stairs, Lee. Let's go. Let's go save this damsel in distress. Why are you crouching? Chopped off. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. All right. Let's break this door down. <laughs> Coming out. Oh man. You're hurt. Oh god. I I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. Oh, man. You get sick and you die and, and you come back. And you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't want uh, that. It's not Glenn. Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. Come with us. We will find you some help. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please! I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No! Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. Oh, man. You sure? Yeah. I, I, uh... God bless you, all right? God bless you, too.
Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls. And but is that is where we're going to leave off. So remember, guys, be good, stay safe, but always have fun. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.